Well, this seems to be working. Look at all those bones. Oh, guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. We are done with the, <laughs> the interior of the farm. What we are going to do today is we are going to build the exterior. My plan, as I mentioned before, is to encase this whole thing in a big mountain and I've started placing the outside parts. Now, this was a real grind. I've been <laughs> kind of torturing myself with making this, trying to make this look as realistic as possible. Um, yeah, this thing is solid. There's, okay, sand inside, not stone inside, but this is all filled up. And we are going to raise this mountain and where this AFK spot is that Keeks placed. That is the very place we are going to build the ship. A big ship. I've collected a bunch of materials that we are going to need for the ship and for the mountain. It will definitely not be enough. I've just grabbed some scaffolding so I can climb up and down there easily. Put more wood and cobblestone, more wood, more wood, dirt and andesite for the uh, to make the mountain kind of nice looking, more dirt and more wood. That is just the start. I will, well, I think I will do this in a time lapse and maybe I will get some help from Keeks. But mainly this ship is going to be, first off, it's going to be a diagonal build and it's going to be slightly inclined because well i th <laughs> i thought uh yeah why why build a straight why build a straight ship why build a vertical ship we've all seen that in the in the naturally generated ships that minecraft yeah shows us but i want to be something something bigger something nicer <laughs> i planned it out in creative and i believe we are ready to go this time lapse is going to be sort of a talky time lapse because I'd like to explain what I'm doing as I go and explain a little bit of my thought process as I'm building, which is at the moment, um, yeah, what you see is me placing the outline, the first draft, so to, so to speak, in dirt, just because dirt is easily replaceable and we can later on just rip it down, replace it with wood or whatever the, the block is we need. We can easily add a little bit um, or take parts away if if the outline is complete and doesn't seem to be uh, yeah, fitting in some places. A challenging bit about this building, well there are a few challenges with it. First one is obviously building so high up in the air without anything um, below the, the structure itself. I have to use scaffolding quite a bit and create this platform uh, that you see. A lot of the times I have to rip it down, replace it, rebuild it, <laughs> just so I can work on the underside or on the sides of, of the ship, because I need to take a step back and look at what I'm doing before I get building, just place a few blocks, and take a step back again and so on and so forth. So it's taking quite a bit of time. And the other really challenging bit is this stupid idea that I had building this thing in in a diagonal fashion. Why the heck did I do that? <laughs> I have no idea. This a structure this size would have been challenging even if it was if it was a straight one. But no, we are going to make this super fancy. So it's going to be diagonal. Okay. So it's quite quite hard to get the outline sort of natural looking in a diagonal way because obviously everything's blocky you can't create an even surface and have to have to well cheat a little bit with um, with shadows and later on with different types of wood to to um, yeah create the illusion of a somewhat even surface on the ship and yeah it gets even more challenging as i try it, <laughs> as i start to replace the dirt with with wood because suddenly you have to 
yeah, mind the 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 outline on the top, the the darker parts. They have to be somewhat aligned and and don't look too crooked. And yeah, I'm even thinking about changing changing the main color palette. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see where we end up. Hi guys, quick little break from building. Just a little update on the progress so far. We have, as you might have noticed, put a lid on the mob farm and done a few and added a few bits and bobs on the technical side. I just want to show you this stuff quickly before I encase it completely in stone because afterwards you won't be able to see it. So, for now, this is the inside part. You know this already. The item transport system brings the items up here, doesn't store them in the chests anymore. Oh, we have to get rid of those. It brings them over this ice into the ship. Ew, sounds are a tiny bit creepy. Up here, um, we'll see in a second where to. And this is the activation point, I believe. Yeah, up there is the lever that switches the farm on or off. Let's get up here. Weep. This is basically the, the hull of the boat. I'm going to add some more detail later on. For now, um... <laughs> This is the interior. Not done, obviously. This up here, redstone magic. I won't explain this now. This is the AFK spot up there. Um, yeah, with a pressure plate that you can stand on to activate it. And this is the final storage solution. This is, um, this is intended to be relatively dark for mood, but no hostile mobs can spawn in here, even though it's dark because I encased the whole place, every spawnable place, with either trapdoors, half slabs, buttons, or other certain blocks that mobs cannot spawn on. Now, these are a few more chests hidden behind here, and sorted item output. Bones, slime balls, string, gunpowder, and rotten flesh. And those chests down here collect all the other random bits and bobs that we don't really need but we want to keep just for just for keeping it this glass cage here is the item sorter this is redstone magic that i'm i don't think i'm qualified to explain how this works <laughs> this is basically where the items swoop over get into those hoppers they are locked this means they will only in this case leave gunpowder through and then it gets sorted into the chests and same on the other side for the other five chests so that's that's it for the technical side back to building i guess and another talkie time lapse sorry guys i won't be talking for too long um as you can see here i'm starting to raise the mountain up no cheating with sand this time i'm going for solid stone and i'm attempting to make this an organic shape so i'm kind of roughing it up a little bit and i'm going for well some rough clips and spiky stone bits so this whole shipwreck wreck thing is kind of logical so you can uh, see just from having one look at the whole thing okay this ship just got washed up on the cliffs got stuck and never got ba got back down again yeah and the challenge that i'm kind of scared right now of already will be the terraforming the terrifying terraforming because i will not only have to make this place somewhat pretty i will hold also have to make it spawn proof because we want all the mobs that can generate in this area to be inside the mob farm and not outside so every single block every surface will have to be impossible to spawn on which makes the whole terraforming and decorating part even more complicated i will <laughs> just go completely nuts with 
well, every kind of slab and uh, leaves and buttons and everything I, I can find to prevent mobs from spawning. Yeah, that will be, that will take quite a bit of time, I think. Yeah, the other thing is keeping up the motivation. I have to be honest and say that because this part is relatively easy. You get in kind of a trance and just place blocks and it's kind of random. And if you make a mistake, it doesn't really matter. But the terraforming part, that will be the most time consuming thing of this whole project. And I'm really terrified. So please excuse me if this episode will take a while. Um, this is a big project especially for me because I've never done anything this size um, yeah and also one thing I should mention because I might be able to um, to use it in this episode in the next few bits I've just discovered the so-called replay mod uh, you remember last episode I was so excited as, um, that I installed a second account to use as my cam account so I can get you those kind of time lapses. Well, I found something even better. I found a mod um, that allows you to uh, review your played sessions and allows you to get sort of a cinematic view of the whole thing. So let me see if I can, if I can figure out how that works and let's go.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm done. I think I'm finally, finally done after three weeks of grinding and mind-boggling, terraforming action and, and so much loss of motivation and, and re-motivating myself. Well, I'm done. And I'm pooped. I gotta tell you that this really took it out of me. Um, yeah, we have a ship now. <laughs> Let me show you around quickly. It's not completely done. We still need a steering wheel up there because there's no pirate ship, uh, pirate ship without a steering wheel. We have sort of captain's quarters with the AFK spot. I'm going to change the carpet, don't you worry. This is just for now, a little bit of fanciness and respawn points. And yeah, well, the AFK spot. Light on, farm on, no light, guess what? Thank you for the proper Description, Mr. Keeks. Well done. So, this is the spot where we, where I will AFK for, let's say, an hour, and then we can go down afterwards and pick our bounty from those chests. And there's a little bit of stuff already in there that generated through me building. I've already taken a bunch of it back to my base. Doesn't matter right now. For now, this is the well, a little bit prettified and actually lit up storage room. Overgrown, as you can see, fungi and uh, some some leafage made its way in the in the shipwreck. And <laughs> this part, don't mind the acoustics here. We'll get there in a second. This is. You might have noticed in the clips before, this is where the redstone reaches from the maintenance area below, maintenance area below, up to the AFK spot, and I tried to hide it. I'm not sure if I did a really good job, but I tried to hide it in treasure, so this would be the cargo hold where the pirates keep their the booty. And uh, those chests, actually, I will get rid of them because this is just the stuff I needed for building. This will be gone at some point and maybe I will fill this thing a little bit more up so you cannot see the slime and the redstone. But for now, this does the job. This is the entrance to set maintenance area. You already know it, but let's just get a look. This is where the farm is, down there. Yeah. Whoop. And just to show you a few bits that I really like about this place. Well, little details, like the palm tree hanging over here. It got crushed by the ship and the leaves are getting darker as they wither away here over the, over the side. And yeah, vegetation everywhere. Little spots where I hit some lighting because lighting up an area also make it, makes it spawn proof. Everything is filled with slabs or it's light enough or there are buttons or half slabs. This thing is, let's say, 99% spawn proof. I also prettified the entrance to the maintenance area, so it's kind of a, a secret cave thingy. And uh, added a few extra spiky bits down here where the ship crashed. Parts of the ship's hull are still floating around in the water. There's one of the broken down masts with a bit of the, well, what's left of the sail attached to it, as well as, as here. And ooh, getting up here is not that easy. One second. Eh. Still a few wool bits to, um, yeah, that's kind of the sail, <laughs> just a piece of it. And there's this little campfire area over here. And I thought, okay, well, maybe the last remaining sailor pirate guy made its way over here, set up camp, tried to get off and um, installed this, this ladder to get back up the ship. Those banners, they are waving around. I thought it was kind of a cool effect to, to have for the sail dangling over the over the um, side here. Yeah, everything's overgrown. 
nature has taken over the ship. Lots of custom trees, uh, lots of bamboo that I kept from growing by placing string above it. And yeah, a lot of terraforming, <laughs> as you can see. Yeah. So that's it for this project. And I will not take up anything this size, at least for the next week. I promise. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was a little bit shorter and took a little longer to, to make. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. It really keeps me, uh, yeah, motivated and, and helps me keep up the spirit. And, 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 and yeah, I, I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.